Well, the first thing we really want to know is how has After Forever dealt with Andre's illness? Well, it was, of course, it was a very difficult time for us. Um, when Andre, well, mentioned that he had cancer, uh, did did you know? Did you know that something was wrong, or was it really? Yeah, actually, we should have known. We should have known because Andre. Um, well, a, a few gigs before, uh, he already had some pain, and during the rehearsals, he had to stop after two songs or something. And it was Andre. Normally, Andre is very, you know, very powerful. And, and well, it appeared that he had really an enormous pain. He, and we, yeah, uh, I think we should have noticed. But because he's a he's a very, yeah, a very powerful guy, he he didn't really make a make a big deal out of it. And. Um, yeah, when he when he mentioned that he had cancer, we of course the first reaction was we were overwhelmed. We thought, wow, well, this this is impossible. And after that, I realized, yeah, it's actually not not a very big surprise because he wasn't doing that well. He, he didn't look that well. I think uh, even a few months before. That. Yeah. And what 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 did it do to After Forever? Because you, well, I think. Um, it did a lot to After Forever, although we tried not to show it too much to the to the fans and to, to the other people. But I think uh, we we've been thinking a lot, of course, uh, about the band. About yeah, that's how what to, I mean. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, of course, about how, how to conti continue, um, but also about more, yeah, more social stuff. You know, what can happen to somebody? And you know, it was not only Andre. Two of our fan club members have also got okay. cancer. Uh, or not fan club members, but f uh, fan club organizers. So it was, we were really shocked by all the, the experiences we've had. And I think, you know, I can, now I can only speak for myself. For me, I did a lot. I think it's, it's been the most difficult time for me in the, 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 the past few months. And I hope today will be a bit of a switch, you know. Uh, yeah, because Andre is now, it's Exactly, maybe this will be a start of a more positive uh, period. Yeah. And um, what did it do to the recording of the new album? Well, actually, um, Andre uh, already uh, drummed the pre-production. Okay. So we, we always do a, a production uh, to, to see if how the songs how the songs sound like. You know, should should they be changed or should the sound be different? And um, normally there are all kinds of mistakes in these songs. You know, because nobody will hear them. Only only we will hear them. But uh, Andre uh, did a very good job. So uh, that meant that we could use the exact drum, drumming uh, recordings for our real album. So actually to the real L uh, CD recordings, it, it didn't matter that much. Um, normally Andre did the acoustic guitars, now I play them. Well, I <laughs> it took a lot more time, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but we managed to do it. Um, but of course, you know, the, a bit of a problem was that that Andre wasn't there the whole time. Normally, yeah. he's, he's really one of the, you know, he's important for the atmosphere, and that was, I really missed him. But uh, what, later what, on, what yeah. did he bring in? You know, because when when someone is missing, then you can tell what he brings exactly. normally to the group. I what think, was it? I think Andre is somebody uh, almost all the time in a good mood, and he has a yeah a rock and roll attitude. So. You know, as long as he gets to play, everything is fine. Okay. And it's important to have somebody like that, without big worries or problems or whatever. And he was, he, he is some, some, somebody like that. And um, yeah, that was what, what I missed a little bit, but during the recordings he showed up more and more. And, uh, and he got, got better more and more. So it was, it ended up in a good way. I think. And uh, the new album? Um can you tell something? What 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 the sound like? Is there a team to it or? Well, I think the new album will just like the previous album be a surprise again for the fans. I mean, we never do the same thing over and over again, and also this this album will be a slight change. We um, for, let me begin with the, the the things we we wanted to bring in from the older albums. We wanted to bring more melody in this album, more clear melodies, just like we did with, uh, for example, Decipher. And why? Why, um, because, why do you want to do it? Because the, the concept album, Invisible Circles, was a very heavy album, it's hard to listen to, but 
that's what we wanted to do at that time. And we wanted to have, we wanted to write such songs more in a progressive way. But if you if you did, you know, if you've done such a thing, uh, you want to go back to some things you you did because you know you always learn things, but you also always look back at the past and try to to take the good stuff. And normally with us, it, that that goes automatic, automatically. We feel what needs to be done. Okay. And now we thought, we thought, well, the melodies have, have to be a little bit more clear, or not too much happening happening at the same time, but more clear melodies. And um, so we did it like that. Uh, that that was a, a big, you know, go go back in the past. But there is lots of new stuff on it. I think uh, the contribution of Joost, my new keyboard player, has been very important. Um, he, uh, I think, his, cont his contribution leads to more um, focused songs about uh, more focus on a melody, uh, more focus on a typical keyboard sound. Um, and also the keyboards now are, are not in the way of the guitars, and the guitars are not in the way of the keyboards. You know, it's what it was it before? Before it was sometimes? Well, uh, we wanted everything, you know, we always want everything on, on in the songs. And uh, sometimes you just have to leave things out of it. And, uh, well, the result is that it sounds really heavy, it's, uh, I think, our heaviest album. But it also sounds more catchy. Uh, so I think that the, the things we want to do, you know, still, be a metal band, not 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 like many bands do now. You know, only classical stuff. Or, uh, or forget what it's really about. We wanted to show our roots, and uh, I think we succeeded in that. But it's still it's it's, it's a real after forever album, and I think many people will will find the things in it they maybe missed in the last album. But you never know. Eric uh, Wise. Lyric Rise, uh, the songs deal about uh, several subjects. Uh, for example, it deals about uh, the Russian, um, yeah, the, the Russian disaster with the uh, school children and the, and the yeah, and the, yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, some very personal things. What about the uh, forced mother who suffers great, great pains in her bones? You know how, how you call that in English, Roma. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, this can really influence your life. One, one of the songs is about that. A few songs deal about uh, uh, what dreams can do with you, or uh, what dreams can tell you. You know, positive dreams or negative dreams. Or yeah, exactly. Oh, I mean, in, in, in daily life. So no, no dreams about the future, but dreams you have in, in, in normal life. Yeah, no, I, I mean, what you do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, yeah. you know what, is, what do they tell you? Do they tell you something? Uh, there are a few songs about that. One song, lyric-wise, has you know uh, has got elements from uh, a song called "The Key" from the Cipher. It's it's actually a continuation of the song. Um, why? Why did you do it? Well, I didn't do it. I uh, wrote the lyrics for the key in a way that how she felt back then, and uh, all of a sudden she realized she didn't feel like that anymore. You know, so it was a change. And uh, why should you leave the lyrics like that? If you have a band and you have albums, so she thought, she thought, well, let's get back to that song and let's try to explain how it goes now. So it's, yeah, you should see it like that, more like like a sequence book, sequel. Okay, and um, we have an album title. Yeah. Can you say it? Reimagine. Reimagine. It's a, it's a combination of imagine and reimagine, and um, it actually has to do with dreams. You know, you can imagine yeah, some yeah. things, you can you can hope for some things or whatever. Was there, was there one? Was there one? Uh, was there one dream or was there one specific thing that occurred that led you to this theme of dreams, or was there one dream you said? Well, no, 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 no. Or, or is it something you are interested in more now? No, no. It, it, this was also Flo's idea, okay. like lyric wise, and she. She dreams a lot, okay. and I don't dream at all. You know, I do dream, but I can't remember. Okay, okay. The only stuff I dream of is getting a new He-Man toy or something like that. <laughs> but, no, but I, I really can't can't remember anything. Okay. But Floor dreams a lot, and she wakes up, and most of the time these are nightmares or something like that, real heavy stuff. So she she tries to find out what it means. You know how, how uh, her mother has it too. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting to to find out. Why are you dreaming? And still, nobody found found a real solution. I think so. It's uh, it's an interesting uh, 
philosophy. philosophy. And when when will the album be released? Uh, it will be released uh, 5 September. In the whole world, or in the whole world? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, in, in uh, the Benelux and France, Spain, it will be uh, around 5 September. But now, you know, it could take a bit more time to to release in uh, in other countries. Thank you. You're welcome.